Many things have been said about the great John Wick. It has been said that John is a man of focus, commitment, and sheer will. Apparently, he killed three men in a bar with a pencil. The stories you hear about John Wick, if nothing else, have been watered down. When John Wick decides to kill you, there is nothing that can be done. Your fate has been sealed and death is on its way. Today I have another Fallout 4 build for you and I'm sure you've already worked out that it's very much inspired by the John Wick movies. If you haven't seen any of the John Wick movies, you should stop watching this right now and go and watch John Wick. The main reason I wanted to create this build is that I love the John Wick movies and I thought that his combat style, aesthetic and story were a good match for a Fallout 4 build. I had the idea for this build before Keanu Reeves showed up at E3 to reveal his inclusion in Cyberpunk 2077, but the hype from that announcement definitely gave me the push to actually go ahead and make this build. Mods are entirely optional for this build as it can be played with or without them. Of course, the build is greatly enhanced with the use of mods, but they are definitely not a requirement. I will go into more detail on the mods I used whilst recording the gameplay at the end of the video. In the video, I will cover the build's backstory, weapons, armor, special stats, perks, faction choices, roleplay, and the recommended mods. In the movies, John Wick is an orphan who was brought up as an assassin. He had been inactive for five years, having retired from the Tarasov Russian Mafia and is also an ex-United States Marine. Since retiring, John had settled down with his wife, who later died of a terminal illness. We can use the fact that he is a retired assassin and a US Marine to shoehorn him into the Fallout 4 story. And when you think about it, the plot of the first film and the plot of Fallout 4's main story has some similarities, at least in the early stages of Fallout's story, as they are both motivated by revenge. In the world of Fallout 4, our John Wick is also a retired assassin and ex-US soldier who settled down with his wife. However, in our story, John has a child called Sean and his wife is healthy. Following the dropping of the atomic bombs, John is now the sole survivor of Vault 111 and his wife has been killed and his son kidnapped. John's only goal after leaving Vault 111 is to track down and assassinate the man that killed his wife and stole his son. As an ex-assassin and marine, John is a master of stealth and an expert in the use of all types of ballistic weapons. With this in mind, you will be using all manner of ballistic weapons, including a silenced pistol, a silenced submachine gun, an automatic assault rifle, a shotgun or a heavy weapon, and a long-ranged silenced sniper rifle. This allows John to be effective in combat at all ranges, whether he is taking people out from a distance with his sniper rifle, stealthily taking down enemies in a close quarters interior with a silenced pistol or submachine gun, or mowing down alerted enemies with an automatic assault rifle or heavy weapon. The main goal when playing with this build is to kill every last enemy in your path without ever even being seen, by utilising John's stealth abilities and deadly accuracy in VATS. However, for occasions when stealth is impossible, John still has his deadly accuracy and expert weapon skill, making him deal insane amounts of damage. For his armour, John Wick will be wearing his classic black suit, which can become an armoured black suit with ballistic weave. Just use normal armour until you reach Diamond City, where you should be able to buy a suit at Fallon's basement, or you could use a cheat mod or console commands to get one as soon as you leave the vault and pretend you got it from your wardrobe at your old house in Sanctuary. Ballistic Weave can be unlocked with mods, or you can access it through completing the jackpot missions for the railroad, however this would make you quite vulnerable until you complete those missions. So I would definitely recommend using mods to get it as early as possible. It was really difficult to assign John Wick special stats because he is good at everything and you only have a limited number of special points to spend. This means I had to focus on one or two areas to make him a weapons expert and sneaky assassin and completely sacrifice other areas. So with that in mind, John Wick's starting special stats will be 3 Strength, 8 Perception, 1 Endurance, 1 Charisma, 6 Intelligence, 8 Agility and 1 Luck. Very early on in the game, you can find the Perception Bobblehead and the Special Book, which you will use to increase John's Perception to 10. Now to explain each of the special stats. I chose 3 Strength because we will need to access the Armourer perk to add Ballistic Weave to John's suit. 
In the movies, John does beat quite a few strong people in hand-to-hand -hand combat, however he doesn't use excessive strength to win these fights, he mainly uses his agility and intelligence. I chose 8 Perception because John never misses his shot, and he always knows where his enemies are. Plus, after using the special book and Perception Bobblehead to boost his Perception to 10, we can use the Concentrated Fire Perk. When paired with his high agility, this makes John Wick an incredibly accurate and deadly shot. I chose 1 Endurance reluctantly, because John clearly shows incredible endurance in the films. However, I had to sacrifice it so that I could give him high intelligence, perception and agility. And remember, the aim of this build is to kill everyone before they even see you, so endurance is not a priority. I chose 1 Charisma again because I needed to spend points in other areas, but also because John is not one to waste words. He prefers to let his actions do the talking most of the time. And plus you'll have a suit which should increase your Charisma stat by a couple points. I chose 6 Intelligence because we need the Science perk for the Ballistic Weave mod and some advanced weapon mods. Plus John Wick is clearly a man with way above average intelligence, and he focuses that intelligence into his skill as an assassin. I chose 8 Agility because John Wick is clearly a nimble and athletic fighter, and we need access to the Ninja and Quick Hands perks to increase John's combat efficiency. I chose 1 Luck because John Wick does not require luck to get the job done, only his own skills. By the time you reach level 50, you should have the following perks. From the Strength perks, Armourer 4 out of 4. From the Perception perks, Rifleman 5 out of 5, Sniper 3 out of 3, Penetrator 1 out of 2, and Concentrated Fire 3 out of 3. From the Intelligence perks, you want Gunnut 4 out of 4, and Science 4 out of 4. From the Agility perks, you'll want Gunslinger 5 out of 5, Commando 5 out of 5, Sneak 5 out of 5, Mr. Sandman 3 out of 3, Action Boy 3 out of 3, Ninja 3 out of 3, and Quick Hands 2 out of 2. If you want to lose some of your damage output in return for the ability to either hack terminals or pick locks, you could take out the 3 sniper perks and use those points for either hacker or locksmith. If you want hacker and locksmith, then you should lose the 3 Mr. Sandman perks as well. Never put 4 perks into hacker or locksmith, because the 4th perks are pointless. John is loyal to no faction. He is only loyal to himself and his family. He is happy to work with all factions if they are willing to pay him for his services or can offer him access to better weapons, as long as the work does not involve harming innocent people. If you really want to complete the main story after hunting down Kellogg, you can, but your faction choice is up to you. For the most part, John will be completing mercenary work in exchange for caps, so he can spend those caps on weapons, ammo, and materials for upgrading his weapons. John is an honourable man, however he is not afraid to get his hands dirty to make some caps, so he is willing to accept some morally questionable work if he is offered the right amount of caps. His only true rule is that he won't harm innocent people. This gives you quite a bit of freedom to complete most of the content in the game. In regards to followers, it would be very beneficial to reach max affinity with McCready to increase headshot accuracy in VATS, and Deacon to increase your sneak attack damage. Other companions that could possibly be worth using for their max affinity perks include Preston, Kate, and possibly Paladin Dance. If you plan to use mods, I definitely recommend using a mod that allows you to use dog meat as well as another follower because John Wick, as we know, is very fond of dogs. You could even use the Pitbull dog from the Creation Club to turn dog meat into John Wick's dog from the second and third film. As I said before, this build does not require mods, but they will enhance the build. If you are playing on PC or Xbox, I recommend downloading some modern weapons mods, and if you are on PS4, I recommend Skillzerk's weapon pack and the Gunrunner mods to increase the variety of weapons at your disposal. I would also recommend using UCO and Armorsmith Extended available on all platforms to gain access to Ballistic Weave without having to join the railroad first, and I recommend using a mod that lets you use dog meat as well as another companion as mentioned earlier in the video. If you want to spend your money on the Cursed Creation Club, I would also recommend the Pitbull Dog Creation and possibly even the Anti-Material Rifle, especially if you are on PS4. I have a video going into detail on the Anti-Material Rifle creation, so check that video out if you want to see if it's worth your money. Some other mods that are used for capturing the gameplay for this video are the John Wick mod, which includes his tattoos and pencil melee weapon, John Wick's Revenge Black Suit, John Wick Preset, RU-556 Assault Rifle, 
M3D SIG Sauer P220, M60 Light Machine Gun and Grease Gun SMG, all of which are available on the Fallout 4 Mod Nexus for PC. If any of them are available for Xbox One, I will link them in the description, as well as the other mods I have recommended for PS4. So basically all links to all of the mods that enhance this build will be in the description for all platforms. That will take us to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like and if you want to see more of my videos I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Also make sure you check out my other Fallout 4 build videos if you enjoyed this one. A massive thank you to Fluky Robin for being the first channel member, thank you so much for your support. If you also want to support me and help me make more and better videos, please consider joining the guild and becoming a channel member. Just press the join button and I'll give you a shout out at the end of all my videos to thank you for your support. As a small creator, any support you can give is hugely appreciated, whether it's a like, a share or a membership. I'll see you in the next video, good luck out there in the wasteland.